Coming to 10 marks questions, network analysis. By applying superposition theorem, determine the node voltage V1, V2 for the network shown below. We have to apply superposition theorem. We have two sources. V1 and V2 are the node voltage we have to find by using superposition theorem. That is theorems. Actually, theorems, any one theorem will come. Thevenin's theorem, Norton's theorem or superposition theorem or superposition theorem applied for AC circuits also will come. Next, uh, another one, determine the current flowing through 1.5 ohm resistor for the circuit by using loop analysis. Loop analysis means it is mesh analysis. Coming to unit 2, transient circuit, a series RL circuit or L is given, V is 60 volts applied, 40 equal to 0. This, this type of problems we solved in unit 2. Determine the current I and voltage across the resistor inductor. The same data problem we solved in unit 2. Similarly, for unit 3, coming to unit 3, illustrate instantaneous power, average power, apparent power, and reactive power, real power, all this by using derivations uh, P equal to VA cos phi, VI sin phi is the real apparent power, apparent power is S equal to VI, complex power. Next, very simple problem they will give from unit 3. You can see for the circuit shown below, find the real power dissipated by each element. Each element, how much power will be dissipated? 50 ohm, what is the real power? 20 ohm, what is the real power dissipated by the element? Real power is Vi cos phi. Vi cos phi. We have to find total impedance for this circuit and total current. From that impedance, we can find phi also v is given i we have to calculate after that we can power same problems we'll do in a unit 3 you can see simply you will get 5 marks for this two impedance z1 and z2 are given in polar form or in series and process an effective current of 5 amps z1 and z2 are in series means those will be added we have to convert into rectangular form after that, total impedance we can calculate. Total impedance and current is given. From that, V equal to IZ. By using that formula, V equal to IZ, you can calculate V. Determine active power means from the impedance triangle, you can calculate active power. Impedance triangle, you can calculate active power VI cos phi. A reactive power is VI sin phi. Apparent power is VI. And power factor is from the impedance angle, you will get angle, that one. That means from unit 3, you can easily get 10 marks. Unit 4 also resonance frequency and couple circuits, you will get easily 10 marks. From unit 5, it is very easy to get 10 marks. That is 30 marks in 3rd unit, 4th unit, 5th unit. And 1st unit, again, you will get easily 10 marks, totally 40 marks and 60 marks total 70 marks you can easily get 50 above marks for 70 whereas 30 marks for internal 70 marks for external you can see here the unit 3 total chapter not only this find the value of uh, real power not only real power there is some more topics are there unit 3 those pairs or diagram also important